President Trump has had sharply different reactions to the series of American tragedies. New York, he immediately labeled terror. Las Vegas was the product of a sick mind. And in Charlottesville, there were good people on both sides. Bruce Lachan takes a deeper look. A month ago, when a high-stakes gambler murdered 58 people at a country music festival. Look, we have a tragedy. The president pushed aside talk of tougher gun laws. We're not going to talk about that today. Three months ago, he condemned the white nationalist in a sports car who police say mowed down counter protesters in Charlottesville, killing one. Well, I think the driver of the car is a disgrace. But he also blamed both sides. You had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. In contrast, within hours of the attack in New York, Trump was blaming Democrat Chuck Schumer, promising to step up extreme vetting and mulling over the prospect of sending the suspect to Guantanamo. You send him to Gitmo. Mr. Trump is now backing off Guantanamo, but he has tweeted repeatedly that Saifula Saipov deserves the death penalty. Why the hypocrisy? Why the double standards? We believe in peace. At a candlelight vigil in New York, Rayufa Ali said she had been praying the killer was not a Muslim. When a Muslim does it, the whole religion is blamed for it. And on Capitol Hill, where some Las Vegas survivors were lobbying for a ban on bump stocks, there was also frustration. We knew that something needed to be done, and we just assumed the country was behind us. And I think a month later, we've seen nothing happen. The president's spokeswoman says his fierce response to an attack by an immigrant is not surprising. That, she says, is what he campaigned on. Bruce Lachine, WUSA 9. Plenty of people have been comparing and contrasting the president's tweets on our WUSA 9 Facebook page. Jessica says, I guess this particular running down of innocence with a vehicle doesn't have good people on both sides. Eric writes, you never heard one peep out of him over the Vegas shooting yet. When it's an incident with a perpetrator of color, he's all for the death penalty and changing our immigration. Call out the white domestic terrorist as well. But Daniel responded, the two incidents are completely unrelated. Terrorism is a top priority for the U.S. government. A crazy gun lunatic is not. Let a jury of his peers decide his fate. However, the terror suspect, a U.S. citizen, committed a treasonous act upon the U.S. and as such merits the death penalty. Tell us what you think about the president's tweet. Join in the conversation. Just go to our WUSA 9 Facebook page.